<laughs> Take a look. Being called out by someone named Huggy Pacino. That's cute. I'm happy that you think that much of me. I have done more good things for people on and off the internet than you could even phantom. I have no obligation to prove anything to you. Hashtag Kanika Jenkins. Hashtag Jordan Bilbo. <laughs> well, this is the problem here, sir. And um, this Jordan mommy profile, I don't know if this is the mom. I don't know. However, this is what I wrote him. Doing good and what you said is totally different. Who did more is irrelevant as well. Now, we would love to see what big entities and cases you solved on a big level. If not, you owe the family an apology for being a liar. We can open a hangout if you want to get into it. They don't listen, folks. I got a different video on my phone. I didn't want to post that video because I didn't want to come off harsh. So I, I just really did a different video. It was more presentable. I came at the guy in a nice way. Um, but all I know is all his videos are gone. See this? All his videos are gone. Maybe he put them on private. I don't know. But uh, another thing is his Twitter page is... pretty much blank it's all retweets see that retweet 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 retweets everything he retweeted and we're gonna go to the tweets show you what I mean is that retweet 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 all right so he took everything down all right the mom post is gone all of that is gone now, this is not about exposing, dude. I wasn't even trying. My, my thing was not exposing, dude. He became a part of the research when I was trying to figure out what was wrong with Jordan. And I found the profile that was, he actually was on the wall of that Twitter profile that I found. And he had to have done what I have done. But your, his approach to the, the, the lady or whoever that is was under a different agenda of trying to get help. But he really just tried to get a name. I ain't trying to get a name. That's why I'm not reaching, trying to figure out stuff on that level. Because I'm not trying to get the family to come and tell me stuff like that. I'm doing research from a public, from a public point. From, from, you know, from, from an audience standpoint, if that makes sense. Some people don't want to throw their neck out there like that and, and be an activist. Some people do. But everybody has a job. My job is to say, hey, look, I'm raising awareness. That's what I want to do, because I could be the next Jordan Bilbo tomorrow. You did? That could be me. That could be my son. That could be your son. That could be your brother, your dad, your co cousin. Not just men. It could be female. It could be your mom, your sister, your, your auntie, you know, grandmother. Anybody could be dead in a hotel. I just want answers. I believe I speak for everybody else that we all want answers, too. Now, you can go about how you want to go about it. Just like this person right here. I'm going to read what they wrote. And I'm pretty much kind of like, top, stop talking to some of these people. And I think I've seen this profile on my page before. Okay. Now, here we go. We got one of the family members that wrote this. I haven't heard from them no more. That's thought that was kind of weird. She said... Yeah, you're fine in answers, but how do you know the family wants that? First of all, there's a freedom fight on the ground at, right there at Crown Plaza. And that's where that's why they showed up. You should check with the family first. I don't have to check with nobody first. It's public information. You see this? Like, everybody's doing all of this, and nobody's bothering Raven. Actually, they were saluting Raven. They was actually telling people, hey, you might want to check with 
uh, this guy named Chosen King that's over here. He's doing videos and talking about it's connected to Kanika and all that. That's pretty much not what he said, but he was just really trying to get answers. And he came at the Raven girl like, yo, what are you talking about this situation? Like, who are you to him? Like, we want to know. That goes for anything. You can get up. Look, anyway, let me continue. This is someone's family. Hold on, what she said? You just can't go around doing stuff because you feel you can. As if I opened the story up and told the world what they didn't know. This is someone's family. And if someone's request to take down, to take some down, then you should. Nobody told me to take this stuff down. This person said, you just literally stalking. First of all, that's not stalking. Some families want peace. All, all these strangers trying to find answers. Yes. Never know what this mom is thinking. Which is disrespect, respectful to disrespect someone's family like that. You know all that social media. It would be nice if you contact them first. Ask them before you go. And see, first of all, listen, this is what I wrote. I said, you said all this for what? We have a freedom fighter all over the city marching. You asked me, check with the family. First of all, from my understanding, they didn't ask nobody. They just showed up. I'm on the internet. And everything is public record, so I'm not finding stuff that nobody else could find. And at the end of the day, if y'all have a problem with it, I don't know what to tell you. Now, my condolences to the family, or whatever the case may be, but I'm raising awareness. This is, at this point, Let's let can we can, can somebody speak up as a family and say, you know what? Let's make sure the next Jordan Billboard don't be your family member or you. Let's raise awareness. Being silent is the problem with black people and in the black community. Being silent about it. It seemed like that's what the case is. But from what I've seen, a, a few of these family members have been trying to point the finger at the hotel. But if you want to accuse the hotel, raise awareness. And then we can accuse the hotel. Then we can put them on those. We know the Crown Plaza is full of shit. We know they hiding some. We know this. But let's not be humble. And let's keep people like this <laughs> off my page. Because I don't know if you've been here before. I don't think I've seen you before. But you left this paragraph for what? I'm out.